in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed for a very long time, the church has been indoctrinated to resent influence. We have been indoctrinated into believing that every time people aspire to rise to prominent positions, to sit upon the notable places of several spheres of influence is a proof of carnality. So we create, we have created a theology that you either be carnal and influential or spiritual and private. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus was a man of influence. What is influence? The ability to mold your understanding into people without using force. The ability to compel people to buy into your beliefs, to buy into your, your paradigms, to buy into your perceptions without using force. You use results. Acts chapter 10, Acts chapter 18. The verse of emphasis is verse 10. But for reference purposes, you can put verse 7 to verse 18. But let's look at just verse 10 for the sake of time. Help us media. Verse 10. Acts chapter 18 and verse 10. It says, For I am with you, and no one will attack or hurt you. What is the reason? For I have many people in this city there are many people who call upon my name in this city and the fact that i have several people is an advantage to my agenda are we together now that when god has many people in places of influence it was the influence of joseph of arimathea that brought down the body of jesus it was not prayer that brought jesus from the cross he would have died and remained there on the cross but a man of influence joseph of arimathea who had business concerns with herod told him that look i want the body of jesus and on grounds of that partnership and friendship he said all right no problem he will be buried in my own tomb influence played a role in our salvation We have entertained a weak and a beggarly church with no voice. Policies and policies come up from an antichrist government. Men and women who do not know God, neither do they have respect for his ordinances. They are the ones that sit in the high places and spirits manipulate them to making life difficult for the church. And we are here praying in tongues, throwing ourselves from pillar to post and rejecting influence. There are two principal ways the kingdom advances. One is evangelism, two is influence. None of them can replace another. Evangelism and influence. The gospel is a message and it's an ideology. It's not a message alone. The message of the gospel is the revelation of the love of the Father demonstrated in the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus and the response of man to that act of love and benevolence. The result of which is the life of God imparted into man. That is the message of the gospel. But there is the ideology of the gospel. A system that seeks to enthrone Christ and his value systems. First in the hearts of men and then across every strata of human existence. Here's the great commission. Go ye into, not go ye around. Enter a system, cosmos, the social system. The mountains that represent the spheres of influence that govern the cultures of people. Let me have representations there. He says, do not be afraid. Why? No one will hurt you because I have many people there. 
when the righteous are in power the people rejoice it says when the wicked perish there are shouts of joy when the vice chancellor of a university calls upon the name of the Lord it's an advantage for the advancement of the kingdom within that territory if the wealthiest man in Zaria calls upon the name of the Lord it's an advantage to the growth of the church I believe in influence I never will reject influence God has blessed me with influential people some fathers of faith some great people connected to this ministry directly or indirectly great men of influence scattered across the military scattered across business scattered across every mountain I will never be indoctrinated to rejecting them because their relevance will show when you want to ward the gates of hell they will come physically through men and God there is only a limit there are certain doors that will never open for you you need somebody already in there who has the purposes of the kingdom are we together there are many cities that refuse to sell land for believers but certain men of influence and certain pastors that God has granted influence will come to that land and a call will come directly or God governor or God lands and survey coordinator release 10 hectares now for this church their advantage can increase the economy of this land and all they say is yes sir may God put someone around your destiny that knows God and has influence influence can shorten your journey all this prayer and fasting we pray out of unbelief is because we are using one system of the kingdom to remedy another influence can answer a lot of prayers are we together influence can answer a lot of prayers a lot of prayers God's people must find their way to the high places of life to represent his interest in the places that matter in the places that matter imagine if Michael Jackson ever said Jesus he would win more souls than many crusades combined whether the Jesus was a mistake or it was intentionally so are we together I shared with us last week that Islam is the fastest growing religion in Europe they have never packed a stadium for a crusade they are using one weapon that we have ignored influence 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 we live in a world that is governed by influence brothers and sisters we need it whoever has influence sets the rules and forces you to work with the rules I made up my mind that I will never pastor a spiritual and a weak people spirituality and influence can go hand in hand and that's the template I've chosen so I'll continue to pray for you and teach you that you rise and become great people in ministry here at the level that God has brought us there is hardly anything we want at this level that we cannot get because of the power of influence almost everything we will need at this level is a call away a call away a call away if it's military might a call away are we together if it's some kind of legal stance is a call away the power of influence if anybody comes and tries to bully the ministry and oppress the lives of people God has strategically placed people in areas of influence to do that influence is important you reject it you will pay for it are we together you reject it you will pay for it we need influence every time we need influence everywhere if there is an emergency case right now and we need attention in the hospital by the grace of God he has given us influence to call some of the highest people that God can grant grace and make sure that we mobilize assistance for people you see believers are not taught how to live in a socio-economic environment we are taught how to live in church but we are not taught the wisdom for living and it is the lack of this understanding that destroys us a day will come you will need help and ministry the work of God will suffer greatly without it it will require influence 
every week you see people here you know um, um, and so on and so forth have people the bosses that come from oh, almost if not 100% of all the drivers they are not Christians but by 9 o'clock they come and wait here all of them and they are watching the meeting it's called influence are we together don't reject influence it is when influence is mismanaged that it can destroy people there are people here by the grace of God and with all humility they have gotten jobs overnight because of influence oh how are you sir there are students who had no business graduating but influence took them and they just left because you know somebody that can favor and help them hello sir please can you help a b c d there are people who have gotten admission because of influence there are people who have gotten promotion because of influence the church has become grounded because we have hated and rejected influence and we keep praying the answer leaves the realm of the spirit but the system that makes it manifest influence being one of them is largely ignored we must receive grace for influence hallelujah there are people who have been at the police station and the situations around their lives would have been grievous but because of the power of influence one call officer inspector i'm the one calling a b c d e f g and it's, it's over unbelievers understand this you can catch a criminal a capon take him to prison in two hours one call makes one call makes one call abroad returns one call back to nigeria and the person is out walking on the street and then a sincere believer who loves god but is ignorant of the systems of god is kept and locked god must give us influence in the name of jesus christ god has helped us as a ministry i tell you the truth and i say it without humility god has given us influence and we have we have honored our way into those influence are we together it matters you have influence to the degree to which men rise to remedy any challenges that stand before you it will happen in ministry I remember there was I think a, a few months or so ago or weeks there was someone that wanted to just make some trouble because of the overflow and all of that and before all those troubles will rise people arose from everywhere and said no way no way you are you are a joker we have been blessed beyond imagination that's the power of influence i never had to go there to find out what happened influence many of you may never know but there's a gentleman now serving five years five months or so in the prison during one of the night vigils he wanted to steal a car somewhere there but because we had influence and access to military might they were caught and apprehended and handled and i didn't even know it was the next day while we we're on our way to the trip the protocol department told me oh they got intelligence let me tell you something if there is a crisis god forbid in zaria within one hour we have built a system of immunity we are not stupid people with in less than five minutes whatever needs to be communicated to every koinonia member will reach the person and the relevant structures for military might and influence will be put we are not stupid people we are living in a we will the horse is prepared for battle safety is of the lord but the horse will not sleep you are living in a wicked world don't assume you are not living in one are we together when the devil uses men to rise against you do you have enough influence or are you connected to people of influence that can come and speak the purposes of god hallelujah we must never reject influence brothers and sisters please take what i'm telling you seriously there are churches today who have refused to get land because of influence there are churches today who have never gotten certain opportunities because they have ignored influence they rejected it they resented it and it left them completely influence we go to the bank and by the privilege of god's influence 
many things that should not be done ordinarily are done to us because of influence if you reject influence you will never never experience certain dimensions of God influence is not just Christians influence is God lifting you to a platform where you can get the loyalty of men you can get the whatever it is that they represent hallelujah the school of ministry students will soon be graduating and while we were trying to uh, prepare for their graduation and so on and so forth they were talking one time about their uniforms what they would wear and one one of the students of the school of ministry is here he just got up and said look i can get you graduation gowns the only reason why they are not using it is simply because there are more students than the gowns can take but influence that's something somebody can be praying for three days and say lord wouldn't you raise somebody no many of the need driven prayers are products of lack of spiritual intelligence influence can answer many prayers do not be afraid I have many people many people many people could it be that our parents have rejected influence to their detriment could it be that several people across have rejected influence to their detriment influence is powerful powerful I remember when Boko Haram struck Mubi many of them may be listening from here now and all of that destabilized the church the entire church in Mubi everything scattered men of God had to go people were killed and all of that and God granted us the access through the power of influence to be part of those that God is using to bring the church within that territory back next month and back there again what a privilege to strengthen the believers and call everybody back again and say the purposes of God must strive on this land that's the power of influence are we together I believe in influence I am friends to politicians talk whatever rubbish they are Christians many of them have gotten born again many of them know God and they have the purposes of God I advise some of them I pray for them I'm not looking for their money God has been faithful we ignore these people in the name of spirituality and when there is need for help nothing happens I remember I think it was in Niger State one of the year I, I, I don't know before the, the last election or so the Khan people wanted me to go and talk they usually have men of God that go and talk with the government you know and talk with them and the last time they took one young guy the guy went there and did a lot of very naughty things you understand what I'm saying people misuse because they don't understand the protocol of greatness I've had the privilege to advise people high and mighty they love me there are things that influence have brought to my life have brought to this ministry there is no good thing that comes into this land that we are not aware of there are systems of influence that grant us access to the choices of everything please believe in the power of influence otherwise you are going to pay for it in in unbelievable ways I've shared with you a humorous story about a young guy in NDA and the Emir of Zaria where the guy wanted to get admission and he failed the test among other reasons they said there was a height requirement to join the NDA and they said he fell short by a few inches sorry we cannot take you and the guy got angry and came one person connected to the other and the news got to the Emir and the Emir said that they should go and tell the commandant of NDA that the Emir has added the height of that man everybody say influence do you think they took him yes the person may probably have finished now the worthy soldier influence his destiny would have been jeopardized he would have been a farmer somewhere loitering in, in, in all kinds of pain and and doing it they, they, just a little farming the back of his house in pain but influence brought him back to destiny don't reject influence don't reject influence I will never reject influence if God grants me access to great people I will talk to them most of us know Billy Graham to be an evangelist a dimension of him that is hardly known was that he was an influential man he was a mentor to several presidents of America it was not luck he literally pressed for it he said how many times Billy Graham will write letters 
to the president and they would turn him down they would throw away the letters but he continued because he believed that he was destined among other things to be an advisor to presidents from today and um, not even from today it's, it's been like that for many years I, I believe every president goes to pay homage to him regardless of what their spiritual orientation is about God is the power of influence will cause men to do things for God that they had no business doing because of influence in the name of Jesus Christ when you go to Dubai you go to China they have never been under pressure to learn English because of influence they speak whatever language influence translates it to those who are the benefactors of whatever they represent Chinese people have never seen I remember one keyboard years ago that my father bought from wherever I don't know where he got that keyboard brought it excitedly at home and said look there's a, a very classic keyboard and I looked at it and it was a toy full of Chinese I looked at everything and I said how in the world are we supposed to I mean there is no, even on you know like English slash China it was pure I'm sure it's one of those things that were just shipped into the country I remember the frustration many times when I'm trying to look for the right voice because I can't speak it that's the power of influence they have not seen a need to downgrade their systems to English because they have value that the world must subscribe to Lord make me a man of influence lift your voice and pray in one minute I covet it the Bible says to covet earnestly I desire it not for self aggrandizement not for the carnality of it for the sake of your kingdom your purposes must be represented not in just in a land it must be represented among great people lift your voice and pray in one minute Lord grant us influence as a house we receive the grace we receive the mantle we know the value of influence as far as kingdom advance is concerned and we receive it with all our hearts unashamedly and unapologetically we receive kingdom influence in business in finances in ministry in government we receive it point I'll talk about tonight and then we'll pray the sixth way that the precepts the ordinances of God are preserved in a territory is through an open display of love an open display of the love of God love that is without prejudice love that is without tribalism love that is outside of religion any sect any movement any church any program that does not communicate the love of God to the community and the territory with which it is represented does not have a future regardless of the prayer fire regardless of the mentorship listen carefully regardless of the quality of the word the spirit of revelation that is prevalent within that territory if there is no love everybody say love no. not just love for the brethren the bible says to to love all men be good to them especially they that are of the household of faith i have watched the resentment that men of god the resentment that churches and ministries who are benefiting from a territory have towards that territory one of the requirements for being blessed and endorsed by a territory is that there must be a perception from that territory that these people love us and they seek our good are we together demonstrated in many ways but ultimately it must become a culture and a conviction 
I've seen many moves of God even in, in, in recent time across several territories where they have later fought the man of God. They fought the man of God, fought the church, fought everything. You know why? The community does not have a perception of the love. Not just love towards God, love towards men. I watch your life and I see the way you treat non-Christians. I watch your life and I see the way you treat people who are not your tribe. I watch your life and I see the way you treat people who did not have the privilege to go to school. I watch your life and I see that although you are a prayer giant, your resentment and sarcasm towards the territory God has planted you. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. First, he didn't just send a son to come and get out of the territory. It was love that brought him. If you want to see the purposes of God established and preserved, even through this ministry, we must love our environment. Are we together? We must love the body of Christ within this environment. I've, I've taught us that there may be one, listen to that message, is powerful. There are four encounters I've taught us here that you must have in your life to be efficient. Number one is an encounter with the Lord Jesus. The benefit of that encounter is life eternal. So wait. Number two, an encounter with the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The benefit of that encounter is leadership, guidance. The third encounter you must have is an encounter with the word of God, the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Are we together? The benefit you get from that encounter is capacity for legislature, dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries and the systems of the kingdom but the last encounter that very few people have understood is an encounter with the body of christ an encounter with the body of christ not just god but the body of christ if you have not had an encounter with the body of christ you remain lopsided i trust god for when i will begin to write books I have a book that I'm going to write. The title is Balance. It's a reorientation of the bride of Christ. The book is about the bride of Christ. The wife of the Lamb. And the dishonor that has been communicated to her. The scriptural text is jealousy is the rage of a man. I'm giving you a preview into the book. Jealousy is the rage. When you touch a responsible man's wife and claim you love the man, are you not a hypocrite? Yes, are we together? Pastor Alpha, can someone insult your wife and then bow to you? That's a hypocrite. So when you hate his bride and claim you love him, something is missing somewhere. A wounded bride is still a bride. An imperfect bride is still a bride. Yes, we must have an encounter with the body of Christ. I was sharing with a dear friend, he's seated here. We're having a little discussion in the afternoon. And I was just talking to him about the body of Christ. Let me tell you something. One of the greatest keys to be granted unusual anointings, please listen to me. Greater than your prayer life, greater than fasting, is your love for God and your love for his body. You will never be given the power to heal the sick if you hate the people you are going to heal. Are we together? Every spiritual gift works by love. Every manifestation of the power of God works by love. If I hate Ejimi right now and God gives me prophecy for Ejimi, the purity with which that prophecy left the throne is not the purity with which it will be delivered. That, that prophecy will rub off on my hatred. And chances are that I will add to that prophecy what God did not say. Which was a derivative of my personal vendetta with him. Are we together now? Love. Most of us trivialize love. We love power. If I tell everybody, shout power, you stand up with two hands and say, power, oh God. Shout miracles, miracles. Shout gifts, gifts. Shout love and we say the ladies can shout it. That's the reason why many people never walk in the high places of the spirit. The Bible says no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it come into the hearts, the comprehension of any man, 
that which God has in store for they that love him. Are we together? He says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Not how you pray, not the wheelchairs you lift up. When you have love one for another. The Bible says, how can you claim you love God that you have not seen when you hate your brother? Listen, having a different perspective is not a reason for hatred. There are many people that work the extended workforce of the ministry includes several people there are people watching from the projector stand outside some of the drivers will soon come they are muslims i love them i greet them all the time when they give birth our protocol department goes to greet them we invite them for dinner the muslims know that i love them i have neighbors who are muslims whenever they are celebrating any occasion i try to greet them sometimes we sit and see brotherly kindness I remember when Koinonia used to do counseling sessions before we stopped. Ask those who come. You see throngs of Muslim families come together with everything, not in hiding. They come openly. Muslims recommend people and say, look, go to that man of God. And they come. Oh, I am Hajiadis. I am Alajidis. And I say, you are so welcome. You are so welcome. Not what are you doing here? <laughs> the world is not for Christians. The world is for anybody God allows to arrive here. Whoever. Whoever arrives here. Whoever arrives here. Deserves to be shown love. There are families. Some of your families have a mixture of Christians and Muslims. Look at the fight that happens there. The prayer warrior slash priest is the greatest troublemaker in that family because he disagrees with everything. Everything. I remember when I was in primary school, they do Muslim prayers, Christian prayers, and after they do it, everybody hugs themselves. We, truly speaking, growing up, I did not know any difference between Muslims and Christians. We celebrated Christmas together. When it was time for Salah, we looked forward to Rams arriving and all of that. I mean, people were just happy, you see people. But the resentment, especially of the church. Are we together? There are three people that come around. How are you? I'm, I'm, what's your name? I'm James. How are you? Your name is Femi. How are you? My name is Abdullah. Uh, you stand here. And we try to behave. We say, look, we are the church. No, sir. You are the light of the world. 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 A city set on a hill. As far as we are represented in this land, everybody will be blessed from it. We will pray for everybody. We will strive to get as many to the saving knowledge of Jesus. But regardless, I, there are people I pray for. I pray for them with all my heart. Some of them come and they bring their chants. I'm sorry, sir. You know, the way my practice, I tell them, I said, no problem. But this is the way it is. Um, you know, when you want to see this, these charms will not help. Not, hey, you are bringing charm. My Jesus, where are you? Show up all these kinds of things that we do. No, sir. We are not going to bless the world that way. Are we together? Some of us have neighbors. Six o'clock. You are shouting. You open the door and just move. Hey, sister, Femi, come. Brother, this, come. And we're on our way going. And all the Muslim people, good morning, sir. And they are watching. Let me tell you, listen to me. We will never preserve the ordinances of the kingdom that way. But when there is love, you hear that someone is sick. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I mean, now you are sick. What is wrong? Is your mother around? No, she's not around. Let's go to the hospital. Ah, and the lady is watching you. You go to the hospital. You've paid the bills. Please. I mean, now is also my daughter. And the Hajia comes and says, ah, ah, I thought you were supposed to go to church. And say, the reason why I would have gone to church is what I am doing now. I'm not a hypocrite. I will not go to church and let somebody die. The very training I would receive in the church was to take care of such a person. And I'm here seated. The woman goes back. I love families where you see people regardless of religion, regardless of this, they love themselves. There is this resentment. And we pastors are the architects of programming members 
to hate any other person who is not them. The worst part of it is that it has even entered the church. It's no longer Christians versus non-Christians. Denomination. Every time you see somebody that dresses this way, you are not told to hate directly. It's through a series of messages that draw a straight line. Hate this person. If you see any lady who behaves this way, hate this person. If you see any brother that behaves this way, hate this person. If you see any young man of God preaching, hate this person. If you see any ministry where the power of God manifests, hate them. If you see any ministry where the man of God cannot even pray in tongues, hate him. We all combine that war and think we are being spiritual. And God is watching us. God is not a Christian. No. I hope you are aware. God is not a Christian. God is the God of all flesh. God is not a Christian. When the, when the, when the angel appeared to Joshua, he said, are you for us or against us? He said, you are joking. I'm not for anybody. I'm standing on God's side. Whoever I find there is the one for me. You are not there. You, are, you go away immediately. The last supper that we talk about in heaven good news is one big table and everybody who arrives there must sit there you, you are not given the privilege of choosing your neighbor we are there one big family the bible already told us listen one of the biggest secrets of the grace of god upon my life is that i never resent any man of god i never resent any church you will never hear me open my mouth to talk against any man of god no if I mention names, it is for commendation and for blessings. Now, I have my reservations. I have my convictions. But it is not enough reason. You see me greet and love people anywhere. I have friends and great people that we vary sharply in beliefs. But I love them with all my heart. Are we together? Who taught you to love only those who agree with you? Doctrinally? religiously some of us innocently our mothers have indoctrinated us hate this one in this neighborhood everybody is a witch except us someone prepares a nice meal and they bring it and say if i if i if i see you touch that rice the slap i will give you and the neighbors are watching bring those people for deliverance and see who manifests You'll be surprised that the only thing the unbeliever needs is salvation. <laughs> but the so-called jumping noisemaker, before they even arrive and sit, they're already shaking and shouting and flying up and down. Let's be careful. The greatest enemies of Jesus were not prostitutes. They were not children. He loved them. When he saw a woman who was caught in adultery, um, he said, woman, where are than accusers? He said, neither do I accuse you. That's Jesus for you. He met a woman by the well. And the woman was afraid as usual because everyone had treated her that way. Jesus said, you have five husbands. The one that is with you is not even your husband. I thought Jesus said, you said, Abba, one husband, two husbands. Because that's what Joshua Selma would have done. Madam, what, what is wrong with you? You have not listened to my message, Essentials for a Glorious Relationship. <laughs> Thank God Jesus is not me. I'm the one who strives to become him. Are we together? But here's a loving, loving. I remember one time I was counseling someone. I think he had three wives. And then he was telling me, he said, well, the other wife, the third wife is my daughter. And I was shocked. He just passed the statement. And there's a comeback. The what? Ah, oh God. You are mentioning this thing. And, you are, and, and the Holy Spirit convicted me. You see. When something has happened, it has happened. God manages that system to birth his will. There are no longer regrets. Doesn't mean you should do it. Hey, yes, yes, yes. Doesn't mean you should do it. Don't go and marry anyhow. But I'm saying, when you meet people and something has already happened, if a lady has already gotten pregnant and she's giving birth to the child, you won't carry the child and put him back to her. The child has arrived. The most important thing is let's get God into that life. That's how we salvage the situation. Listen. By the grace of God, one of my life's goal is to be the arm for wounded people to find shelter. And I say amen to that. 
are we together that when someone is wounded I will not just be an anointed man of God but a shoulder that you can lean on that when other people are moving and shouting and running their mouth like we do in the body of Christ that it is you will be the shoulder for people to lean on oh I used to pray before but something happened to my life hey something happened what happened pride I be but you are you are the arm he says it's all right there is a system in the kingdom where mighty men can arise again love is God speaking to us there is nobody who want to be a member of such kind of a church nobody will not want to be a, a leader of such kind of a of a pastor look at what this guy is doing <laughs> can you imagine I'm busy preaching and using him for example and he's there well I love him too God bless you Sam I love you so much hallelujah praise the Lord yes the workers in this ministry know that I love them I love the leaders outspokenly how many of you see Benga when he shines? Come Benga when he shines, when he shines, when he shines. He said he didn't do it today, but I mean, he bought the clipper by himself, and trust me, he does a good job. Better than I mean, he shines that thing and brings it for me to impart upon it. It's called love. When you see people, anointing and love can go hand in hand. You don't have to drag your face as if you are the person. Who, no, 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 no. I love people. God bless you. You see me and the Jimmy, you, you see me and the little children. I'm sure it's only because protocol has stopped them now. Otherwise, these children can run while I'm preaching now. They don't care. To them, your Joshua Selman is apostle to you. That, that he's the person who plays with me when I'm ready for play. After service, they run. They don't care whether I ate or not, whether I've broken fast or not. They just jump and expect me to hold them. It's called love. There is a side of God we have failed to reveal because we have thought that revealing it is weakness. I love Muslims. You will never see tribalism in this ministry. Never. Never. The workers have been taught. They've been taught. Oh, you are Igbo. You are Yoruba. Mm -mm -mm. No, no man after the flesh. I love my people. Don't get me wrong, there are my people listening to me from just. I love all of you with all my heart. But trust me, trust me, I love the body of Christ. I have gone to every region in this nation. They have received me with joy and honor, without prejudice, without sentiment. I humorously used to talk with my people and I tell them, I say, we have many houses in this nation. And then we keep listing all the houses, the frequent places that we visit. I'll be going to Mubi now um, next month. And whenever I reach there, do you know how they greet me? Daddy, oh yo yo. That's how they dance because that's home. And it's home. I love them with all my heart. I told them the next time I come here, I'll look for land and buy because I think I qualify to be uh, whatever it is. The, 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 the local, the son of the soil of that place. How about Kogi? The, the, the amount of food I've eaten in Kogi qualifies me to be given something maybe a chief tenancy title <laughs> hallelujah I love the body of Christ with all my heart no resentment no prejudice I see a man of God before I even know who you are and what you believe you receive a big hug from me how are you you are hungry sir this is something to eat before I start finding out whether you believe whatever you say I believe in Jesus I also believe in culture I still love you but would you want to look at it this way not a I want uh, blessed is the man who does not stand in the council of the weekend. I love people. There are Muslims seated here in this congregation, inside and outside, listening to me. And after service, they come and greet. I love them. That's how many of them have become born again. But whether or not they become born again, hating them. I love everybody. My neighbors, they are little children. When I see them, I, they just jump and come and hug me and I lift all of them. I don't care whether you are a Christian or this, you are a herbalist, whether there's a chap for you, that's not the issue. That's why God allowed me to immune myself. I lift them and I'm happy and bless them. Change your outlook about the world. My world is a beautiful world. My world is not a world in crisis. Having enemies, church versus... Uh -uh. No. 
my world is a beautiful world I love people I don't resent people I don't pride myself at the pain of people walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instruments of peace Lord make us instruments files from different prayer groups in Zaria different ministries in Zaria man of God pray for us I'm praying with all my heart man of God we have a little program we need 10 naira okay I can help you with 2 naira I don't care whether you are with me I don't it's not my business the most important thing is I love you you love Jesus you are my friend you truly are my friend what a beautiful way to live this ugly resentful way the whole world will not become koinonia stop dreaming about it kingdom advancement is not establishing koinonia everywhere kingdom advancement is koinonia establishing christ everywhere are we together yes the mandate is extended by many of you here and many ministries that will come out of here that's true kingdom advance not an advancement of one person's agenda and ideology but an advancement of his kingdom and it's a privilege to contribute the quota that your ministry or whatever platform can bring in kingdom advance i love the body i honor the husband and i honor his wife i honor the husband christ i honor his wife the ecclesia i honor the bride of christ i will never resent the bride of christ though wounded she still deserves my honor Though in ignorance in many areas, she still deserves my honor. Are we together? I meet a man of God somewhere. I greet him whether I know you or not. Oh, you're a pastor. God bless you. Where? What are you doing? Oh, I'm a pastor with this and that and that and that. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. How are you? Oh, I'm a pastor with deeper life. Ah, how is our father, Papa Kumui? Oh, you know Papa Kumui. I love him with all my heart. Oh, I'm a member of MFM. Really? How is our father, Daniel Lukoya? Ah, he's this. I mean, you love him. Really? Are you a member of MFM? No, not exactly, but it's our fathers. They bless us. A child receives from anywhere his father is. That's the body of Christ. Are we together? How are you? Oh, you are a winner. Yes, God bless you. Oh, I was blessed by Papa Oyedepo's message. I was so blessed. Are we together? Every, it doesn't matter what fellowship I can preach there. It doesn't matter what ministry I can preach. I remember when the Anglican Communion invited me. They forgot that I was a seminarian. Ah. I saw, I think it was the vicar. He was so happy when I was reciting the Apostles' Creed. And I was talking and you know, ah, he was so impressed. And after the meeting, they loved me with all his heart. And I greeted him, appreciated him. I love people with all my heart. You don't pray in tongues, no problem, I love you. You are limited by your understanding. I pray that you improve, but no problem, I love you. Are we together? That's what Jesus taught us. Now listen to me. I was sharing again with my friend this afternoon. Correcting the body of Christ is an office. Not everybody has the authorization to correct the body. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Correcting the body is an office. The same way, if, come, Emeka is writing his last exam in a few weeks and you'll be a full doctor. 
Huh? Uh, it's already a, it's just to, for them to all of them. See our, our doctor people there. I mean, we have so many doctors, children sick, while prayer is going, injection is coming here, attacking from every angle. I tell you, divine health is going to be here for a very long time. It has come here to stay. Praise God. Now watch this. If I am sick, will I allow any roadside, these guys that sell pharmacies on, they sell drugs on, on one box on their head that they can mix everything. Will I allow that person to treat me? I go to an authorized person. What authorized him? There is an association. When he writes his final exam, he's going to be officially authorized to practice medicine. Is that true? Yes. Correcting, do you think God will create a body and not allocate the doctors that take care of it. Are we together? The same way you have lecturers that teach the mind of that body, you have doctors. Coming to correct the body is an office. One of the first requirements to be qualified to, collect, to correct the body is that you must love the body without reservation. The whole body must be loved without reservation to end the right to correct her. Help that person under the anointing. The moment, listen, 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 let me have your attention here. The moment you do not love the body, you cannot effectively correct the body. If this guy is a pastor, come Mike, and Mike is a pastor, XYZ Ministries International, ABC Ministries International, and I come, I'm a pastor. I don't like what Mike is doing. I already have a bias. I can never correct it in truth. Are we together? But I can stand here loving the body. And when I say, Mike, I think um, you are supposed to put your hand this way, not this way. I do it in love. Are we together? The context of my communication shows that I love Mike genuinely. And I seek with all my heart to see him rise hallelujah i rebuke many of you here sometimes i come to preach and the series can be fire you know there are series that i hammer as soon as they finish preaching your body is just shaking and you can't wait for the grace so that you quietly go no matter how hard i am on you you discern my heart and know that there's love there are men of god you shout at members like that next sunday you have empty pews but when they know that you love them I rebuke people. I rebuke the workers. I rebuke worship team. Worship team. I love you people with all my heart. But there are times that they deserve rebuke. And what does a good leader do? You rebuke them to the gravity that will create the effect. But they know I love them. I rebuke all kinds of people. Protocol everywhere. So you don't come and just begin to lambast the body of Christ tear down every ministry tear down every man of god carry the baby and the bad water and the bad water mix everything together and throw them no if my leg is wounded don't insult my head my head is still good appreciate the fact that i bab well it's just that there's wound on my leg and then bring bandage and treat it don't keep pointing and say ah you mean this big injury is on your leg how can such a good head have bad leg you are not solving the problem bring a bandage i wrote a song years ago the bandage is larger than the wound powerful song one day i'll, I'll play this keyboard by myself and sing it are we together now bandage the wound and say father thank you for the privilege your head is good but this is where the problem is and i come as a member of the body too and i remedy you and two weeks later the wound is healed and he's standing the church is stronger the body is stronger christ is exalted it's only in the church that we destroy our wounded soldiers a man of god serves a ministry for many years and an issue comes around his life and the people he has served for many years turn against him as if he became a devil in one month no sir no sir I manage a lot of cases between men of God and sometimes I see the bleeding that comes from them. They serve people with all their hearts. Maybe sometimes something happened around their life that, you know, destroyed their ministry or whatever it is and you see the resentment. 
my prayer for you is that you become the arm that can wipe the tears of people that every time people are crying they say i know that pastor alpha is a prayer warrior he's a revelation giant but he's also a loving hand what a good testimony jesus said let the little children come the children were running to jesus and all of a sudden guy guy leave me alone he, he's, he's, he has finished fasting allow him and jesus said yeah who taught you this let the little children come to me and do not despise them for for such is the kingdom i have come to seek and save the lost i've come as a man of god when i when i travel and go to regions many times pastors come from other cities to come you know just in honor of the meeting and i look at their faces i see some already intimidated i see some standing and i am very quick to honor all of them i come to them and i say men of god i love you i honor you i have not come to outshine you i know you have listened to my messages don't be intimidated i am here to lift up your hand i am here you are already doing something great i don't go to a city and destroy what the people are doing there i go to a city and i tell them look you are doing something great and i'm here to lift up your hands so that jesus will be seen you don't come and open a shop near another believer and as soon as you open a shop near that believer you just sit down go and bring oil go and bring water go and bring this and pour it and say you will see you will know that the god of my of apostle joshua Sema, you know there's fire in this coin on here wait and see your shop and then the person's shop is going down and you are laughing say, see i told you this anointing works in this ministry you are an immature believer an accident happens 10 members eight die and the only two members that survive are the members of your church and then they come and say everybody died except us remember that prophecy that papa gave us and and uh, and, 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 and an immature man of god is happy the death of eight believers is a setback to kingdom advance we must have a corporate heart are we together now i was asking i was asking him uh, about the, the flood in benway state and what is going on because my heart i've just been thinking about the people there and i was telling him i said look benway has tried for years to bring me by god's grace i would i should try to visit that land next year and we're just talking and those of you listening from benway i love you uh it's not my my intention not to have come and trust me next year in the name of jesus christ next year benway should be part of the itinerary let's let's go there and contribute to the great things that they are doing there whenever you approach ministry as a contribution in addition to what god is already doing you become loved you become valued and every man of god within that territory loves you but when you go to a territory and push everybody away as though you are doing nonsense you are not even praying in tongues and you are a pastor you are not even this and that you are not collecting offering in your church eh? you are not you approach the pulpit with a heart of love you bless people seated in this place are mighty men and women of god they come quietly to sit down while the meeting is happening after service there are many people who have traveled from many regions i don't stand joshua selman this is him in case you have heard about him this is apostle joshua selman yes bring your demons bring your sickness no 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 it's a privilege of his grace i will never take for granted I'm nothing without you. It's grace. Your grace shines on me. Your grace. Your grace. I'm nothing without you. are pastors of fellowships and groups learn it never make your fellowship a place that divides the body are we together call to order people whose lives have a track record 
of the no 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 especially some of us who are younger coming up in ministry we have hardly seen anything and we are already sustaining this bossy attitude no sir no sir i've shared about my love and honor for cgc the the leadership of cgc i say it in the open the cgc represents the most humble set of ministers i have seen in all my life till date truly speaking truly speaking i have never never seen men of god so anointed together with their wives the mama of cgc is such a humble woman mommy will see me like this and left for her a woman that is old enough to be my mother how many times mommy will want to kneel down I know what some of you would do. You would stand and say, well, mommy, I, I, let me tell you how it is. You wouldn't look for it, but if it comes, you will enjoy it. You are still a criminal. It's, listen, it's like buying alcohol or you are given. A drunkard is one who drinks alcohol, not one who drink by buying with his money. Whether you are given as a gift, it is the act of drinking alcohol that makes you a drunkard. A wise person just because they acknowledge you and they come ah apostle sir and the woman hey, my mother wanting to kneel down for me and then i stupidly stand there and i no i will join her and kneel down she kneels down will lie down and roll and say mommy let's let's roll on the floor then some of us are already receiving that you your appetite for outshining is almost a cancer you don't search for it for yourself but when it comes, you don't mind. Where is the apostle? Where is he? That guy? That's it? Yes, apostle. Joshua Selman. And in case you doubt that I'm anointed, give me five minutes. Let me handle the mic. That's not a person that will last. If it means God taking the ministry from me to retain the humility he has given me, it's a worthy bargain. I will give up koinonia a thousand times. To maintain my work with God and to maintain the life. Humility has blessed me more than financial intelligence. It has given me access to the hearts of people. There is nothing as beautiful as someone highly anointed and truly humble. Not fake humility that is, is just, no, 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 no. Humility that is based on revelation. I love the body of Christ. I love the church of the Lord Jesus in Zaria. Every time I pass around and I see different prayer groups, prayer cells, different people, I see a lot of, you know, our some of them are our brethren here. Some of them have crusades in different lands. We just, I think there was a crusade conducted recently in Gombe. You know, I am excited seeing the people that God has granted grace to raise doing a lot of things. I'm not pushing them and saying, who no it should be only me only me no only you is this is that one is is just culture we bring our cultural limitations mix it with the anointing and make it look like it's the holy spirit that is responsible for all that outcome no sir let's separate between the limitations that came from our personal sense of poor esteem i love it when i see god lift people i love it when i see god use people during the school of ministry, I was at the, their practicum. I was seated outside and I was almost shedding tears. I was watching as great men and women, powerful people, dispensing truths. I sat down. The reason why I left this place and I sat down outside was I didn't want them to be conscious of the fact that I'm there and then be conscious of not. I, I wanted them to just have their way and minister. And what a powerful meeting it was. For me, it's a pride. For many men of God, it's an intimidation. No, no, no. Let's, let's clamp these people down very soon before they outshine. <laughs> no. Honor is a mantle. If it's on you, it's on you. Shines on me. Shines on me. I'm everything with you. Shines on me. Shines on me. It's your grace. Shines on me, shines on me, I'm everything with you. Shines on me, shines 
sent me a text a few weeks ago i think arm robbers entered and i think it's a small church somewhere i don't know if it's in abuja or nasarawa state and he sent me a text he said man of god i don't know you but arm robbers just entered they stole some of their gadgets you know i'm sure maybe the church was not secured and all of that i didn't have to ask who are you what what church do you belong to what do you believe do you listen to my message or not that's that was none of my business sir really Ah, I called him. How are you, sir? Let me pray for you. I hope they didn't hurt anybody. Where is the church? I pray for you with all my heart in the name of Jesus. Please send me your account number. Whatever little I can send. If it cannot be enough to buy a speaker, at least you can buy a recharge card and make calls. Cheer up. Don't worry. Father, strengthen this brother in the faith. The devil has come to discourage him. But my brother, I encourage you. Stand strong. Oh, apostle, you have been a mentor to me. That's not the issue. I'm praying for you now. The loss of one is the loss of the body. The gain of one is the gain of the body. Lift your voice as you are seated and cry for the grace, a baptism of love for the body. I'm not doubting your love for God, but your love for the body. I show you why you are not seeing miracles in your life. I show you why there are certain levels of investments that you may not see. I show you why God may not be able to trust you with blessings for the body. Lord, I love your body. Ah, I love your body. I love every church. I love every denomination. I love every man of God. There may be difference in belief systems. There may be difference in values. Our levels of alignment may differ. Our levels of spiritual results may differ. But I love what you are doing in Nigeria. The church in Nigeria is not dead. The church in Nigeria is not weak. She can't be better, but Christ is in the midst of her church. The perfecter of the bride. 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 Inside, outside, make sure you are praying. The perfecter of the bride. Hallelujah. We are soon going to stand up, but I'm going to give you one more prayer point. I'd like you to pray. And say, Lord, the spirit of sarcasm and resentment, take it out of me. I didn't even know when it entered me. I laugh at men of God. I laugh at business people. I laugh at other tribes. Anyone who is not Yoruba, I laugh at them and resent them. Anyone who is not evil, I laugh at them and resent them. Anyone who is not a northerner, anyone who is not a Christian, any Muslim I see, I hate it. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus taught us to love. Jesus taught us to love. It's one way we allow the purposes of God to be preserved. That the church within a territory is known for love, not hate. Not hate. Hallelujah. Listen, we are going to pray. Brothers and sisters, look at me. If it is authentic power you want, if it is grace and anointing you want, more than fasting and more than prayer, you must love his body. You cannot love a husband and hate his wife. You are a hypocrite. I cannot love a Jimmy and hate hope. I cannot love Pastor Alpha and hate Annie. It doesn't work that way. When you love a man, you love his wife. If you love Christ, the head of the church, then you must love his bride. Yes, still getting perfected. Yes, with many mistakes in the midst of her. Yes, with many scandals in the midst of her. Yes, with many people blindly refusing dimensions of God. But you must love people. I love every man of God. I love every pastor. I love every leader in Zaria across this nation. I love them. I watch television and I see different preachers across different channels manifesting what they know and understand by the, the kingdom in many ways. And I see a lot of things. I have my reservation, but I love them in spite. I love all of them with all my heart. The same way many people love me in spite of my own imperfections, in spite of my own limitations, they overlook the excellence level of our messages. Some messages are not very clear. They overlook it and focus on what God is doing. That is the same way you must sow that same seed of love. 
can't be resentful over everybody. Are we together? Yes, the lady did not cover her hair. Okay, it's all right. Reserve your reservation about your concept there. But it's not enough reason to hate. Oh, the lady covered her hair. Ah, I don't believe in covering of hair. No problem. But it's not enough reason to go around hating people. No, sir. We must love the body. When we do this as a territory, you will see revival break out in Zaria and from Zaria across every part. One worship minister will finish worshiping and hug the other one and give him the mic with joy not give him the mic like you have come to stop me from shining no the body think kingdom not koinonia think kingdom think body not joshua selman thank god for the honor thank god for the loyalty based on administration but if you want to be effective in the kingdom you must think beyond me you must think beyond koinonia you must think kingdom and the purposes of god hold hands together Though we are many, we are one body, we are one body in Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, we are one body in Christ. One more time, let it be a song of love and unity. Though we are many. We are one body in Christ. So we are men. We are one body. We are one body in Christ. Prayer point number one. Lord, place a love for your body a love for Christians a love for Muslims a love for traditional worshippers a love for any and everybody place a love for Yoruba people a love for Igbo people a love for northern people lift your voice and pray grace to love Shepherds can abound as Catabaria Tato Sepe de Gelebele de Mokosta. Shapras Catas, a get a catroscopia da Malabus. Every get a catosa da Malabus. Lift your voice and pray. Drive far from your life the spirit of hate. Drive far from your life the spirit of resentment. Drive far from your life the spirit of resentment. Exalt the body in love. Build the body in love. Correct Muslims in love. Correct traditional worshippers in love. Deal with your unbelieving relatives with love. It is the love of God that brings them to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, in any way I have contributed to the division of the body within my territory, I ask for mercy. Lift your voice and pray. In any way, through ignorance, through limited spiritual understanding, in any way I have contributed, I have planted the seed of this God among members. I have planted the seed of this God among men of God, among deacons. Among church workers, I have created a sense of competition and appetite to outshine. I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. prayer points and we're done for tonight next prayer point lord trust me with any dimension of your power available i will not disappoint you it will be for the body not for my members trust me may 
may I be a worthy vessel, O oh God, that you will find to host your prosperity, to host your prophetic grace, to host the apostolic fire, to host leadership, to host administration. Let it please you to trust me. Let it please you to trust me. for your body it will be for your body preservers of divine ordinances we're going to pray. I want us to spend about five minutes intercede for the body of Christ in this nation. Listen, but particularly intercede for the body of Christ in Zaria. Lord, Zaria remains a place of revival. This is where we are domiciled for now, so we pray for the peace of this city. We decree and declare this town remains crisis free. This city remains development conducive in the name of Jesus. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ is favored upon this land. Are we praying? Lift your voice and pray. 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 We pray for the churches in the six geopolitical zones We pray for the churches in the six geopolitical zones of this nation. We bless them. We strengthen their hands in the spirit. Lord, we declare that there be a supply, a greater supply of the spirit a greater supply of financial resources a greater supply of the spirit of illumination revelation a greater supply of your grace a greater supply of influence we pray for the church in this nation we decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit that the church of the lord jesus christ is standing strong every church every cathedral every pastor every prophet every apostle every priest we decree and declare that their lives permit your purposes to be established across that territory. Their lives permit your purposes to be established. Their lives permit your purposes to be established. Lord, heal the broken-hearted, broken-hearted men of God, broken-hearted members, broken-hearted churches, broken-hearted denominations. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, heal them. Small backsliders, renew anointings, multiply auctions, multiply encounters. We pray for the church in Zaria, the spiritual heritage that you have placed upon this land. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it will not be lost. We prophesy that we are preservers, preservers, preservers of the mysteries of healing, preservers of the power of the Holy Spirit, preservers of the unction for revival, for signs, for wonders, preservers of the prophetic, preservers of the apostolic. Of the evangelistic, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is just putting in my spirit that we should pray for our children born and unborn ages 0 to age 15 we need to travel we need to cry and say Lord let an angel of your presence begin a walk with those generation of people let revival fire once again break out come on pray 
we capture that age range in Zaria. We do not neglect the generation coming. We do not neglect our children. We prophesy upon them. Children who are here manifest and those who are in the loins of prophecy. We decree and declare. We establish by the Spirit. The spiritual heritage. The mountain must be passed across. Our land must be a place of revival. From PZ to Shika to Savo, we declare and declare. Raise voices. Raise prophets. Raise apostles. Raise pastors. Raise evangelists. Let the young ones begin to see visions. Let the young ones begin to have encounters. Let the young ones receive a partake of this heritage of spiritual substance. From our children out of the mouth of our babes and sucklings, you will ordain praise, you will perfect revivals. Out of our children will come the movers and the shakers in the spirit. Like Samuel, they will hear the voice of God. Like Joash, they will become mighty men at a young age. As can now give the nations to Oh Lord That's the cry of my heart Distant shores and the islands will see Your light As it rises above As can now As can now give the to you, oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on the that our territory will not be scarce of your presence we make a declaration that Zaria remains a portal for kingdom activities we make a declaration that Nigeria remains your firstborn we decree and declare that the mystery that is upon this nation that has produced great men and women I pray oh God that that covenant be revisited again every communication of this honor to fathers of faith that has come out of this region every dishonor to the generals of faith across the globe every dishonor to men and women that you are using that has come out of any church or any ministry in Zaria we declare that the blood speak in the name of Jesus we communicate our unflinching honor for you and for your body we love your body we believe in the possibilities that are enshrined in your body and Lord we decree and declare that Koinonia specifically remains a place where you have unrestrained access to manifest your multifaceted possibilities in the name of the Lord Jesus this place remains a ministry of impact it remains a ministry of transformation in the name of Jesus Keep the fire burning, keep the lampstand burning. Be that fire that burns and will not quench day or night. 
let lives let destinies let ministries arise from this place to the entire globe in the name of jesus and lord we make a covenant with you again that we remain preservers of your ordinances we will teach our children we will teach our children's children we will mentor them on the ways of the spirit we will teach them the precepts of the kingdom we will not leave them in ignorance the move of god will not be lost in our time it will be preserved and preserved sufficiently in the name of jesus christ we bless you and we give you all the honor in the name of jesus keep standing everybody one of the ways to preserve the precepts of the kingdom is to make sure listen everybody inside outside those following online that people come into the saving knowledge of jesus giving your life to christ is not an initiation into a religion jesus said my yoke is easy and my burden is light he said come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden and he leaves you with a promise that i will give you rest are we together there are people here you struggled you've lived your life and you are saying man of god if you will make a call i'm ready to run to jesus or perhaps there are people here as you listen to me talk about the body of christ you know that you really need to make your ways right with god you are saying man of god i remember giving my heart to the lord but several things happen around my life and right now i don't even know where i stand if you give me a chance i can run to jesus whether you are inside or outside any of the overflows, I'm going to count one to five for time. Say, please, I want you to rush like there's fire on the mountain and make your way to the front here. I want to pray for you. Can we honor them? One, God bless you. Keep coming. They are coming. Don't wait for anyone to come. Be the first. Two, there are people seated in the congregation and the Lord is talking to them and saying, you heard the message and it affected you. Three, this is not all of them several people inside outside being convicted by the spirit of god man of god i'm not sure whether i'm saved or not can i join them of course join them join them quickly young and old rich or poor male or female old or young join them quickly jesus is calling jesus is calling win that war in your heart don't allow the person you came with cause a resistance to you. The Bible says in that day when you hear his voice, harden not your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness. God bless you. Make your way to the front. You are running to Jesus. Swallow your pride and come. I believe there are still people being convicted by the Spirit. Still struggling. Should I come? Should I not come? Several people outside, I believe, make your way. Please clear the way for them as they come. We understand it can be a very bold decision but make that decision for the sake of yourself your children your children's children make that decision make that decision god bless you hallelujah now if you're joining them please run quickly and join them those of you coming out i sincerely salute you thank you so much for um, responding it takes a lot of courage to come out I understand I want to lead you to make this prayer whether or not you've made it before I want you to make it with understanding believing that it's not just a repetition but it's a miracle happening to you lift your right hand and say after me Lord Jesus say it from the depth of your heart Lord Jesus I come to you tonight just as I am I ask you to cleanse me I ask you to forgive me I decree and declare that I believe that you are the son of God I receive your life into my spirit and I declare that from today I am a child of God the spirit of God lives within me I declare that the way of the flesh the way of the devil is far from me from tonight I receive grace the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I reign in life in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I declare your sins forgiven by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare that a new life starts for you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ the grace and the power that keeps men keep you in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen thank you so much for making this decision please arise all of you follow the gentleman waving his hands and they will they will get across to you on our behalf. 
God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you appreciating them? Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.